Lions TV, it's the Monday Weekly Roundup Show, formerly known as the Sunday Weekly Roundup Show, but on the sly, also known as Look What We've Only Gone and Done This Week. It's the longest name ever, nearly as many names as Mill White Shots on Friday night. Let's get straight into it. So yeah, as we all know by now, opening day of the season, we lost 1-0 to Nottingham Forest. It was an outstanding performance from our players, though. Brilliant display from the supporters. It is, I think it's the best I've ever seen us play under Harris's reign. I'm going to put it out there and say that. I thought we were superb from start to finish. We defended from the front. I've never seen the players put that much effort in as well. Chasing down every ball. Morrow, the, the work he'd done, the, the rate he put in, and, and Griggs as well from the front. Just absolutely superb. George Savile was man of the match for me. He was absolutely brilliant. It was, I mean, there could have been a, one of about four or five man of the matches. They was all brilliant. We did lose the game. We are going to lose games in this league. And, you know, people now going to me, uh, you're up Harris' ass because we've got promoted, blah, blah. Listen, this is how it is. If we're struggling in League One and we're, we're, we're pitching around 10th, 7th, and we're struggling to beat teams that are like Chesterfield, then, yeah, I'm going to get on the team's bollocks. We've gone up now. We're in the championship. We are millions and millions in transfer budgets behind these other clubs. All we've got to do is survive. I've said that. I'll, I'll happily finish one outside the relegation for the next three years. I can't have no complaints. It is what it is this year. And if, if we go down, we go down. But judging by the way we play Friday night, absolutely no way. We'll be in this league 100% next year. Put your ass on it. And if you do, stick it on my lab books. It's on to Jimmy Watch. The man, the myth, the legend. Wimbledon's top scorer. Nab Jim Abdu. No one sent no photos in, so he's going to go off Lions TV for his own back. I can't show you the gold due to copyright, but... Believe it, it happened. This is not a drill. Jimmy Abdu scored a 20-yard volley against Scunthorpe on Saturday in the opening day of the season for AFC Wimbledon. They must be sick of the sight of him, Scunthorpe. But well done, Jimmy. You've rightfully got your own slot on Lions TV. Jimmy Abdu, Mill legend. <laughs> Moving on to our next game, we play Stevenish tomorrow night in the Karibo Cup. Karibo Cup. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I've looked it up. It's actually a Thai energy drink. Random. And Karibo, translated into English, means the no one gives a shit. So this is the no one gives a shit cup. Only the kitchen of stand will be open. Mill have just tweeted that. So I'll be in the West Upper tomorrow. It's sad to do, and it? Take the kids down there. What team will he play? It's interesting to see because we need to learn to stick the ball in the net. That's, that's evident since Friday night. But I'm not sure. Will he give Elliot a run? Will he give Fred a run? Will he play the same side he played the other night and, and, and get him you know, into winning ways and the right mentality? But I'm not sure, obviously, because we've got Bolton home on Saturday. So, be interesting to see the no one gives a shit first round cup tomorrow night at the Den. See you there if you can. Podcast. Myself and the Millwall legend, Hall of Famer, Tony Denzel Warner, have a podcast. You must have seen it. I've been plastering it everywhere. We have now got a podcast called Denzel's Den. We're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. Please follow us. The podcast is currently up on Audio Boom. It has been accepted by iTunes. There's a little bit of an issue there, and I'm trying to rectify that today, but some great stories from Tony Warner. It's, it, it's, it's based all around the championship. It's not restricted to Mirwall, but every week we, we've had some good stories out of Denzel. The pilot, uh, we had the Mother's Day Massacre story from Denzel, and obviously as it was our opening day this week, we had the opening day story of uh, the home story when we lost 6-0 to Rotherham on the opening day, but it's a, it's a brilliant, brilliant story. So please get involved with that. Keep your eye out for it. It's going to be on iTunes. We're still looking for a sponsor. It's just got to be funded. Tone don't want to concede these stories for free. And I've got to go up to Liverpool once a fortnight. So if anyone's fancy sponsoring that, you're going to get the retweets and you're going to get the coverage across all Lions TV platforms and you're going to get it across Tony's personal platforms as well as Denzel's Den Own One, which the Instagram is on its way to 500 and the Twitter's on its way to 1,000 already. So Denzel's Den Podcast, please get involved. Don't be afraid of podcasts. Some of the old school, it, basically a podcast is a pre-recorded Radio show. That's all it is. It's all based around football. It's free to download, just like my YouTube channel. Come on, you Lions. Moving on to the Lions TV app. It is available for free download in the App Store. Yes, free, free, free. It's all free. Well, it's, that's a lie. It's not all free. There is a shop on the app. And if you want to buy them, I'm currently doing two for £25. Two legends, £25. Terry Erlock signed. Gary Alexander signed. We've got, now got Tony Warner. They can be signed personally to people. Tony Cascarino. Mark Beer, Stuart Nevercott. Pick your two, they're one for £15 or they're two for £25 at the minute in the shop. But we're giving these away right now. The last week's weekly roundup show, I put it up and I said, why should you win this photo? There were some good ones, but I've just looked right then and Chris Brown, you've won it. Because Chris Brown has said, if I don't win that photo, mate, I'm going to come around and kick you in the nutsack. So Chris Brown, 
It's yours. Well done, mate. I like my nuts to be exactly where they are and kept intact. I might use them at some point. So that photo is yours. I'll be in touch, mate. I'll send it to you. Well done. Moving on, a Gary Alexander photo. Signed by him. A top man he is, Gary, as well. I'm giving bits like that away all season throughout. I did um, predict the score and the, and the first score or a scorer. Not one person got it right across Instagram, Facebook and Twitter, which was good to see because you all went for a meal win, mostly. So not one of you got it right. There was a couple that came close and said Morrison won one, which is what it should have been, but it was free. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give that photo to a, a, a young guy named Tyler Podmore. The reason being, he always retweets my stuff. He's been watching since the very beginning. So, well done, Tyler. That's on its way to you, mate. So, as you've noticed by now, the weekly roundup show has switched to a Monday. That's so we can look back over the last seven days at the club that way. So, basically, the new schedule for Lions TV is this. Friday, you're going to get a pre-match prediction. Saturday, you're going to get a full-time reaction and the fan cams. Sunday, you're going to get an away day if there was one and a post-match analysis. And then on a Monday... You're going to get this, the Sunday, sorry, the Monday weekly roundup show, formerly known as the Sunday weekly roundup show, also known as Little We've Only Gone Done this week. You'll be sick of the fucking sight of me by Christmas, honestly. There's a little bit of a ding dong going on there at the club, obviously, because of these ID cards that might be coming for away games. Listen, you're all grown men, I can't tell people what to do. You don't, I don't care really because I don't run the pitch. If you run on the pitch at a football match, you are A, going to get nicked, you're B, going to get banned, and C, you're just going to, you're just going to ruin our allocations for further matches and stuff like that. You're not hard running the pitch. Don't make you. I mean, all the bellings that run at Wembley. You, you're idiots. Don't do it. Just don't run the pitch. I can't see what you get out of it. No one gets more excited than we score than me. And one, I can't run no more. For two, I wouldn't run on the pitch. Trust me. It's just pointless. It's just an absolute pointless exercise. You might, go and, might as well go and bang red against that wall because you don't get nothing out of it. But anyway, we, it might have to happen. And and being a good, honest citizen that I am, I've already sent my photos into the club. There they are, there's my photos for the ID cards. So, if the ID cards come in, they come in, but we've only got our own fans to blame, unfortunately. Thanks again to our sponsors behind us. Their links are in the description below. Get on the Bitcoin one, by the way. Just don't be an absolute crust. Well done, Mitten. <laughs> Top man, cheers for that. So yeah, keep watching, keep subscribing. I'm giving away that train invest at 5,000 subscribers. Can't see it at the minute, but it's around here somewhere in this shithole. And also, uh, the... Paul Ifill shirt, 10,000 subscribers. It's shot right up to subscribing. Please subscribe to my channel. It's gone up over 100 in the last two days. You basically go onto YouTube, the app, and you go to Lions TV, you click subscribe. If you've got a Google Mail account, a Gmail account, it will automatically subscribe you. It doesn't cost you anything, no bank details, nothing. If you haven't got a Google Mail account, it might ask you to set one up. If you wouldn't mind doing it, that'd be fantastic and really good for me. And I will see you tomorrow. At the den if you're going for the second round of the no, I don't know, the first round of the no one gives a shit cup. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions. Come on, you Lions.